Hello again, Dinky Danny here. Today I'm going to show you my collection of boxed and complete Sega Genesis games. I got the Sega Genesis back when it first came out. I loved the system then and I still love it today. I just recently passed 100 boxed and complete games, so I figured that's a good number to do a collection video and show you which ones I have. I have a ton of them here, so I'm going to have to go through pretty quickly. But in the beginning, I'm just going to go over the games that I think everyone should own if you have a Sega Genesis or if you're thinking about getting one. The first game is Altered Beast. This is the first game I ever played on the Sega Genesis, and a lot of people don't like it, but I'll always love it, and I like playing it even till today. Great game. The next one is, everybody knows, Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a great series. The first one here is the one that I played originally when I got the Sega Genesis, and then I also have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Next up is another great series for the Sega Genesis, and it's Golden Axe. If you like side-scroller beat-em-ups, this is one of the best games that you can find out there. I played this with my friend, uh, my buddy Steve, we used to go over and just play the crap out of this game. We played it so many times, absolutely love it. And the next one is Golden Axe 2, another great one. Another one here is another set of two, NBA Jam and the NBA Jam Tournament Edition. One of the best sports games ever made. If you have never played an NBA Jam game, do yourself a favor, go out and pick one up. The next game here is my favorite Sega Genesis game of all time. Absolutely love it. It's another side-scroller beat-em-up, and it's Streets of Rage. This is just hands down my favorite Sega Genesis game. I've played it so many times. Love it. And the next one is Streets of Rage 2. Also a great game, but I still prefer the first one the most. The next game is Road Rash. I used to play this game all the time with my friends and my brother. You can play two player and you ride a motorcycle down the road and you have to beat up all the other racers and you can pick up chains and ba uh, baseball bats. Just a lot of fun. Definitely a great game on the Sega Genesis. Next up is Road Rash 2. Also a great one. Another one here, one of my favorites is Aladdin. This game, they did such a great job on this and it's really cheap. Do yourself a favor, go out, pick this one up. I think everyone will enjoy it. And another one here is Thunder Force 2. Great shoot 'em up. Next, I got Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. This is my sister's favorite Sega Genesis game. Just a real quirky, fun game. Here's an RPG Light Crusader. I used to play this on the Sega channel and really enjoyed it. I haven't put it back in since I played it way back then, but um, looking forward to putting this back in and seeing if it's as good as I thought it was back then. My favorite, probably my second favorite RPG on the Sega Genesis is Shining Force 2. Really great game. This is, if you like RPGs, this game is a must have for the Sega Genesis. My, my favorite RPG is Landstalker, which I lent to a buddy, so I don't have the box here with, with me right now. Next up is Castlevania Bloodlines. Castlevanias are always great, so is this one. We got Fantasy Star 3, The Revenge of Shinobi. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Hyperstone Heist, Sonic and Knuckles, another great Sonic game, Shinobi 3, here's a 6 pack which is a pretty cool, pretty cool game, they're really cheap and it comes with Golden Axe, Sonic the Hedgehog, Columns, Revenge of Shinobi, Super Hang On, and Streets of Rage, a bunch of classics, so if you're looking to get a game cheap, definitely pick this one up, 6 pack, it's real cheap and excellent games. Next up is the Toy Story, Tom and Jerry, Caesar's Palace, Jungle Strike, The Lion King, another good Disney one, Sonic Spinball, Junction, Echo the Dolphin, here's the only Mega Drive game I have, The Autophants, pick that up at the flea market, Alien 3, Batman Returns, Hard Driving, Tiny Toon Adventures, Krusty's Super Fun House, Eternal Champions, great fighting game, Marco, Primal Rage, Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2, and Mortal Kombat 1. If you've never played Mortal Kombat games, definitely check them out. Just brutal action. Just the fatalities. Back when Mortal Kombat 1 came out, was so much fun. And of all the arcade games that I've actually gone out and played at the arcades, I think Mortal Kombat would be my favorite. I remember fighting on the arcade machine and everyone would be around watching. It was so much fun. Next up is Two Crude Dudes, Super Off-Road, Spider-Man and the X-Men, Animaniacs, College Slam, Formula One, Lethal Enforcers 2, Gunfights, Monopoly, everyone knows that, Ultimate Quicks, Columns, a fun game that's kind of like Tetris, 
Shanghai 2, Tailspin, another Disney game. Shaq Fu, everybody hates this game, says it's one of the worst games ever. But I remember that I rented this when I was young, and I enjoyed it. So I haven't put it back in. It's probably pretty rough to play now. But back when I first played this, I enjoyed it. Next up is Herzog's Vi, Star Control, Dinosaurs for Hire, Nate Grade 321 recommended that one for me. Pitfall, Fatal Fury 2, Super Hang On, Forgotten Worlds. I haven't played this game, I just recently picked it up, and I hear it's a lot of fun co-op, so I'm looking forward to playing through this one. Mick and Mac, Global Gladiators, Hardball, Top Gear 2, Rocket Knight Adventures, a fun platformer, Rom Stroker's Dracula, Cool Spot, Chicon, Rambo 3, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, The Lion King. This one, uh, this is actually the hard plastic case. The other one was a cardboard. It came in both. Here's Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Street Fighters are just awesome fighting games. Classic. Another great one that was fun in the arcades. World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Kid Chameleon. Tasmania. Taz Escape from Mars. Strider. And the last one is Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh yeah, and I have all these sports games up here. Just show them real quick like this. The only ones up here that are a blast to play are NHL 94 and 95. Loved playing those. But didn't really want to take too much time showing them. So that's my collection of boxed and complete Sega Genesis games. One of my favorite consoles of all time. Definitely go out, get one, and if you have one, pick up the games that I mentioned in the beginning. They're highly recommended, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. So I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.